Pectus excavatum is a condition of deformity in which the chest is sunken in. Also then the ribs are often flaring. And surprisingly, pectus is actually more common than you think. One in about 300 people have pectus excavatum and it's about a three to one ratio of men to women. So women also have it as well. So what causes this one in 300 people to have a sunken chest? Genetics definitely have a role. My dad has pectus carinatum where his chest goes out. So if there's like a connective tissue disorder in your family, it could be related to that or another kind of pectus. So you've got pectus arcuatum, carinatum and excavatum. It could be related to that. More often than not, if someone has pectus excavatum, someone in their family also has pectus excavatum. And it's normally like their parents. It is definitely a hereditary condition, but not always. Okay. Sometimes pectus excavatum is just kind of random. You got no one in your family tree that has it. Now with pectus excavatum, it is also common to have it at birth. Most people are born with it, but also it can develop when you start going through puberty and you start growing rapidly. So sometimes it's not even present and then you hit like 12 and it starts really developing. Or sometimes it's present at birth, but to a mild degree and it's mild throughout your childhood. And then once you get into your teenage years, it starts getting worse as well. So there you go. Look into your family tree, see if a family member has it. You've probably got it from them. Um, if not, then maybe you're just one of the lucky ones who was happened to born with it or unlucky, depends on the way you want to look at it. Uh, interesting side note, my girlfriend has pectus excavatum as well as I do, just totally random. Uh, and uh, so if we have kids, they're probably doomed. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so that's where you got your pectus from. Some fun facts about pectus. It is a little bit luck of the draw. For example, my sister, obviously my dad has carinatum, but my sister didn't have pectus of, of any kind. So it is a bit of luck of the draw, um, but it is the hand you have been dealt if you're watching this with pectus. And so don't be a victim to it, but instead own that you have it and work on your mindset and work on your body to bettering it and improving it through exercise, stretching and building a really amazing body and opening your posture. Don't be a victim to it. You have it, accept that, and then work on bettering it. There's lots of solutions for pectus excavatum. And my personal recommendation, if it's just a cosmetic case, is exercise. Then you don't need surgery, you don't need something intensive. Obviously, surgery has its place in more severe cases, but if you have a more mild or moderate case, or it's just a cosmetic case, then start implementing exercise to overcome it. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not. A lot of you guys watching these videos aren't subscribed and I post a weekly video about pectus excavatum, giving tips about all kinds of different things, workouts, exercises to do, stretches to do, general information about it. So if you have pectus and you want to you know, overcome it, my YouTube's filled with great resources. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a, miss a video. Okay, thanks guys, peace.